Once the most hated man in boxing, my boxing writers who are taking kickbacks from certain promotional companies will now become one of the most beloved people in boxing because they will start kissing his ass on Twitter and Facebook and in their bullshit boxing articles. Al Heyman now has a deal with CBS and Showtime Championship Boxing. To televise the premier boxing champions bouts. He also has a deal with NBC and NBC Sports. He also has a deal with Spike TV. He also now has a deal with ESPN2. On May 22nd, Friday Night Fights is done, dead, and over. It will be moved to Saturdays and Al Heyman will have his fighters fight on those cards. Here's the thing about Al Heyman fighters. They're promoted by Goose and Tudor Promotions. They're promoted by Lou DiBella Entertainment. And a lot of them are still promoted by their old, smaller promotional companies. But he is the advisor. And this, once again, I'll say it, is great for boxing. More boxing on television, regular television, will have some of these guys become really, really famous. On that first bout on CBS, it will be headlined by Adonis Stevenson versus Saki Obika. No, a lot of casual fans don't know who Stevenson is and they do not know who Bika is either. But they will be introduced to them on April 4th. And of course we know on NBC, Adrian the Problem Broner will fight John Molina Jr. on April 18th on Showtime Championship Boxing. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who's advised by Al Heyman, will fight Funfara. Now, you tell me, how is this man ruining boxing? Because he's taking a lot of these top-ranked guys and giving them money for their fights? Because he has a guy who he wants to build, like Leo Santa Cruz, facing lower-level opposition so he looks good in front of new fans that will eventually become regular fans that will become paying fans to see a Leo Santa Cruz fight. He's doing the same thing with Abner Mares, And he's doing the same thing with a couple of his other guys. To help build them up, build their name, build a reputation, and build a core audience with some of these casual fans. And it's been known that he's trying to do that. And guess what? I don't do this bullshit 40 hours a week. There's certain writers that do this for a living and they knew exactly what he was doing. But decided to shit on him instead for the past three years to maybe stop the Al Heyman train. And now the train has arrived and guess what they're doing? They're boarding on as if... They never said one bad thing about Al Heyman. There, some of them are even jumping ship from their old dot coms to start new ones in an attempt to clean their name, erase their past, and put the Heyman cock straight in their mouth. <laughs> Most of these guys, they don't care. A lot of these guys are in their 40s. They still act like children online. If you're going to shit on a man, try to stop him from making money. Why are you going to jump on his dick? When he starts doing good. The only losers are the fans that were following these guys and believing everything and anything they said. I don't get involved in the fuck that goes on social media sites. I don't get involved with it. Good for Al Heyman to bring all these guys, get them paid, get them real name recognition. And even better for him to have these same guys that were trying to put him out of business now look like dumbasses on press row. 